Hey, uh, Colonel Weeks here, Fantasy of Flight, and uh, I got to see if my AI Jack McCloy is on site because we need to go look at this DC-3 on the road. It's just... Anyway. Hey, hey, Jack. Hey, uh, are you on site? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Okay, cool. Yeah, I just, uh, you know, I, I, if we run down, let's go take a look at this DC-3 and figure out what the options are. Okay? Sure. I'll be right down. Bye. Okay. Okay, anyway, so we'll see what is happening. Uh, you know, the rudder got damaged in uh, one of the hurricanes. Damage actually blew it off. Hinges were just totally corroded. Um, I went down and looked at it uh, a while back, and somehow the tail wheel bracket has broken. And uh, anyway, it's got some issues. Let's put it that way. So uh, there's Jack. I'll go grab him in my car here. Anyway, um, you know, it's a it's an eyesore. You know, we got people obviously complaining about it. Um, I think there's somebody shot off the windows and one of the hatches fell off. And anyway, let's see what's happening. Uh, another day in paradise. Another day in paradise. <laughs> oh my god. See the runway is in need of. Yeah, we're gonna bail it here pretty soon. Some of my maintenance guys. Anyway, so since we're not doing a lot of flying right now, we just will go ahead and let the grass grow. And uh, man, it's like really high right now. But anyway, what they do is they come in and they bail it. And we get an agricultural exemption so it keeps some of the taxes down. I still fly airplanes that are, you know, um, you know, like have big tires and that kind of stuff. So, anyway, that's what's happening. I haven't been down here in a while, but you came down and took a look at it. So, I mean, yeah. just overall impression. It's, it, yeah, it's, it's, I've, I've got concerns with the, the structural, but what I'm afraid of is going to take more people than, than we've got available and, and we really need a crew that's going to take quite a few people. I don't see if I can hurt them. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Man, the grass is high. It looks like the main tires are, are flat and they've got no air in them. Okay, and I send the tailwheel tire and I know the well, bracket's the problem broke. with the tailwheel looks to me like however it was secured to the mount, yeah. it came off. I think it I think that tail lifted in the wind. Oh, I'll and bet then, that's and what then came happened. Back down. Is it tied down? You want to grab this here yeah. real quick? Reader board signs out. We have such a hard time just keeping this thing going. It's such a pain in the ass, and it's a, uh, you know, I'm grandfathered in here. I have the only full color motion reader board on Interstate 4. They don't allow them anymore, and so I'm trying to keep it going because I'm grandfathered in, and if I lose it, I lose it. So anyway, maybe the other side's working. I think you're right. It's when the rudder came off and uh, 
that hurricane that went by. Yep, I think it picked up and slammed back down, and that's what broke the tail gear. You can get us over there. Yeah, I just gotta get out of here. Anyway, it's been a road icon forever since we opened in 1995. I bought this from specialty restaurants, you know, uh, Dave Talachet's place. It was over in Tam Tampa or Sarasota. I paid $6,000 for this. It didn't have any engines. They pulled the engines and then we just added the little thing there. And originally, you know, it was, of course, it was set up, looked like it was going to crash. Uh, and, you know, <laughs> we got a lot of response. I thought the airplane crashed on our four police kept getting calls and I said oh yeah we know about that <laughs> so anyway when it first came out it uh, you know it was like this as a joke you know like an airplane you know landed on I-4 and uh, anyway so you know, we had a guy hanging from the tail wheel which was always the intention but what happened was it we didn't get the guy hung up there until maybe six months after we got the airplane set like that so everybody thought it was a crash airplane once the guy G. Willie, you know, got hung up there. Then all of a sudden, everybody realized it was a joke. So it became an icon there. And then, you know, I've lost my butt early on with Fantasy of Flight. I couldn't make any money making ends meet. And what I ended up doing was, uh, at some point, I thought, well, you know, we made some changes. We opened up full uh, seven days a week. And anyway, uh, flying airplanes and all that kind of stuff still lost my butt. So we changed this to a more positive angle, like, oh, Fantasy of Flight's about to take off. Well, guess what? It never did. So, all right, so what are we looking at here? Uh, you, you can see the holes blown through right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's superficial That's shit, Callan, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I. They're, they're, they're just. just right. Corrosive. Yeah. Just yeah, that's correct. And, and all, the, <coughs> all the bolts are in. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I and mean, we had the wings off before, um, but yeah, I'm just looking. Is that paint coming off, or is that the uh, inner granular on it's the inner granular? Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, it, it could be paint. Anyway, this thing is obvious. Let me just walk around the front. I'll meet you back there in a bit. You know, um, so the tires are flat. What we need to do is take them off and just i mean jack if we were gonna if we were gonna you know do something you know we could take would the wheels come off like it's welded on but what i'm saying is well no actually what we could do is i mean what we do is we just fill the tires with foam yeah. and they'd roll there, there, no yeah 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 but we could fill those with foam and that would solve that problem and somewhere along the line the this door blew out people had been inside somehow you know people screwing around and it looks like i don't know if the windows open on the front there on the pilot side or somebody shot it with a gun or something but anyway it obviously has served its purpose but I agree, it's a freaking eyesore. And, uh, but at some level, I have a potential use for a static one, you know? So it's like how much, see, this is all coming apart here. And in the, you know, in the past, I thought, well, you know, Fantasy of Flight, it's not making any money, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's like, why do I need to spend a bunch of effort on this? I realize, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of an eyesore at this point. Uh, this completely broke. Okay, so you can see where that's all cracked and broke. And, but Jack, if this, I mean, this couldn't have broken in a hurricane because it's bolted to the airplane. This had to have been dropped or just... I don't, I don't, this, this was done when it fell. I don't know how any of this was attacked. 
No, no. What I'm no, no, no. Is... This, no, no, no. This, no, this. When this thing got put here, I'm sure this was not broken. Oh no, no. What, what's happened is this whole mess has gone, has broken and gone right up through here. This, see, there's a bar here. Right. That that bar was was down here. I'm oh. Sure. I'm sure. I think everything got slammed up through the fuse. I'll be darned. I don't. I, don't I'm, I assume that we bolted, you know, like through the tailwheel and held the tailwheel down. I don't remember. That's filled with foam, or it's still got air in it. I think it's, it. it's filled with foam. Yeah. Yeah. Filling it with foam would be easy, so it could theoretically be rollable. Well, you know, here's the deal. I've always thought I have an attraction element in the future that's going to use a C-47. This is a DC-3, but, you know, it's going to use a C-47. And I, I'm not going to use this wing. It's going to be, you know, in an environment like our B-17 exhibit was. And, uh, you know, it's like it's not going to fly. It's going to be inside. So I'm like, is it? What's it going to cost to fix this as opposed to go buy a C-47 somewhere, you know? Yeah. Still a lot up yeah. Man, I, some of this here is feeling a little bit on the... Look at that. That's a bracket just fell right off out of something. Anyway. Yeah, see, oh my god, if we had to take it. Oh, this is all blown out here. This is all. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's God Almighty. Oh my god. Yeah, this side's blown out. Yeah, this thing basically, the hinges, uh, you know, when one of the hurricanes, uh, we had rudder locks on it and all that kind of stuff, but it basically just blew the rudder off. Um, yeah, that thing flips down. I need a ladder to get up there. I may want to come back with a ladder and just get up inside there and I don't even how uh how do you even get in it there? It's just it should be just a quarter inch drive. Just to, to just turn it. We've got handles back there. Yeah, okay, alright. Well maybe maybe we'll go down take a peek. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's uh yeah, I mean I don't think I can climb up there. Yeah, let me go down and get a bladder and a light. Holy shit. Yeah, sure. Just about busted my ass. Stay on the choices. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You want to come down with me or? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, so let me go get a uh, let me go get a ladder and a light. Huh? Uh, there are, but I, yeah, just go ahead and close it. Oh, it doesn't matter if they go in there. Anyway, all right. Okay, let's go get a ladder. There's a ladder here at the deal here we might be able to use. Okay, I'm 
thinking is that yeah that's probably the best way and then you stand on that okay yeah. so why don't you stand on that get a video of me for insurance purposes if I <laughs> Watch your fingers. Okay. Just hold that there so I got some light. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push it all the way out. I don't trust the floorboards, but there's the back end there. Oh, we got a potty, man. We gotta save that puppy. What do we got George in there? Uh oh, you mean uh G Willie? Yeah, G Willie. Interesting. A little jump seat there. I can't get that open. Anyway, all right, just hang loose. Seat track looks like the safest way. So that's what we're looking at. Apparently we had painted out the windows. Oh, whoa. I'm leaning forward about 15 or 20 degrees, whatever the airplane angle is. Well, that center section right there doesn't look too bad. Now that up that old doesn't look too bad. Okay, that's the ass end there. Oh my God, I'm having flashbacks to Another airplane where, well, seems the pilot has uh, lost his head. Well, you know, it's not. So this thing fell off a while back. You see the propeller things that we made there. And see, yeah, I think somebody, I don't know what happened here, but these things either broke by themselves I think they just broke by themselves close the window otherwise I might get some corrosion in here this thing fell off the hatch oh my god DC-3 project. You know, this is a DC-3, and uh, what I really need for my future fantasy flight experience is a C-47, which means we would have to completely change the door in the back there. Oh my God. Interstate 4. So keep busting my butt. Okay, we made it. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Somebody's reporting. Somebody's reporting that uh, they just. They see people getting into the C DC-3 on the interstate. You would not believe we, where I am. Oh, look, uh, look who, you want to meet the pilot? Uh, Catch, no way. I'm, I'm, in a, I'm in a DC-3 that's parked on the highway with Kermit right now. Yeah, that's Catch Ketchum. There's a duck up in Alaska. Did. We've got a DC-3 parked out on the I-4 for just a, a visual attraction and we're trying to figure out how to get it off its mount and get it back so i'm standing here with kermit and i got you on speaker so hey they, catch what's happening <laughs> well <laughs> that's wonderful <laughs> 
<laughs> yes. How does the DC three get on the boat? It was a road icon for Fantasy of Flight, but uh, yeah, we're like in the middle. We want to make sure we don't bust our butts here. So maybe Jack can call you back in a little bit. <laughs> Yep. We'll we'll do. All right, we'll see you, Catch. Take care. I'll call Thank you in a few. Thank you. Sure. Bye. Oh my God. Yeah. So Catch Catch. Uh, uh, David Arnold ended up with the duck that uh, he had up there in Alaska, and Jack went up and worked on it for him a little bit, right? Yeah. 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 Got it back here. Got it flying. Yeah. yeah. And I bought a spare set of wings from those guys early on. Yep. That uh, anyway, so go go check it out. Catch is a hundred years old. A <laughs> hundred years old. Oh my God, <laughs> man, it's a little warm in here. It needs air conditioning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So just go up and take a peek if you want up in the cockpit. I mean, it needs a little work, but <laughs> you know, it's just that it's like it, it, the first thing we got to do is we got to get it off here. You know, and we can make a decision as to what we want to do with it. If there's yeah. We can try and get the wings off. If we can't, you know, then we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But at some point, I want a C-47, just a static. And like you said, there's probably some around, and maybe this is not the one we need. But, you know, I only paid $6,000 for it in 1994, 95, 95. And uh, boy, just be really careful coming out of here. Yeah. In fact, actually, I just realized I should have been Oh, shit, that one's loose. Holding yeah, on to the stronger. side here. Emergency escape. Yeah, don't slide into me and take us both yeah, out. I'm on this side. <laughs> okay. Check out that toilet, man. Of course, this, oh my God, that, that, that floor is yeah. going through right there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Holy crap, this is a little bit unnerving. Can you get out? Yep. All right, I'll tell you what I'll do. Give me the camera. Okay. Well, well, yeah, yeah, okay, here we go. All right. I'll just come down the, the upside. Make sure you got a good handhold in case something falls out. Jack, we are about to lose. You didn't. Oh, what'd it do? Didn't lock the thing when you came up. I didn't know that. I thought it was. I locked it when I was laying down. See if the worst piece of basis is. I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Get yeah, me out there. Here. Wait a second. You hold that. Yeah. Yeah, just make sure you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't go on the top. Get on the back side if you can, Jack. I got a good hand hold. It's a fly. some uh, work to do. Oh, it'll, yeah, it'll go in the lab. There you go, and then just, okay. Oh my God. Yeah, it's a little TLC. Oh my God. Anyway, um, just, I have a, plan that I've already designed. I figured out 
how, how do I get it permitted to replace this icon that would be the long-term future uh, deal for Fantasy of Flight. Uh, it's not an airplane, but it's a monument that uh, I feel would be very appropriate for the future dream of Fantasy of Flight. So anyway, um, we'll see. Oh my God, I gotta go take a shower. Kermit Weeks, over now, Fantasy of Flight.